TV4 News at 6 starts now. Hawaii Medical Center East in Liliha closed its doors on January 5th, while HMC West and Eva shut down a week earlier, just before New Year's. The closures caused a strain on Oahu's emergency services and left hundreds of employees without a job. Good evening, I'm Paula Akana. Almost five months after Hawaii Medical Center East and West shut down, there is finally some movement toward reopening at least one of the two Oahu hospitals. KITV4's Catherine Cruz has tonight's top story. It is a first step toward reopening the old HMC West site. The parent company of Queens Medical Center and St. Francis Healthcare Systems signed a deal to explore opening an acute care hospital. Both sides say a confidentiality agreement prevents them from saying much more than that, but the news certainly caught Hawaii Pacific Health off guard. It was a bit of a surprise. HPH, which operates Kapilani Straub and Palimomi, had been interested in bidding for the Leeward facility as well. The company had been under the impression it had to wait for a written order from the bankruptcy court before initiating talks. If it had been us, you know, we'd be happy to step into that role. But if it's to be Queens and St. Francis, then we think that's fantastic too. This session, lawmakers approved some $80 million in special purpose revenue bonds to help St. Francis as a safety net, which now may not be necessary. I've seen special purpose revenue bonds take a year and a half to get approved. So uh, at the end of the day, I have a strong suspicion that uh, St. Francis, if they have a good offer, will, will uh, not need that bond at all. It won't be used. Instead, the private sector will um, acquire an open hospital. Lawmakers also set aside a million dollars for the city's emergency services, which have been strained with the abrupt shutdown of the two ERs. Green said he has asked both Queens and HPH to consider opening ER services first. Even the emergency room opening up out at the West would be a help, um, but any patients that would have to be admitted to the hospital, of course, would be, have to be transported elsewhere. Um, but just to have the facility there to do emergency room type of medical care would, would be a help. So no one uh, can say for sure just how soon it could be before anything opens out in West Oahu. We do know that about 1,000 people lost their jobs, and the last check with the state labor department found that about half of those 1,000 workers applied for unemployment. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Catherine.